Adolf Hitler, a name synonymous with terror and devastation. But what if his life had taken a different path? Welcome to our speculative journey, alternative careers for Adolf Hitler. First stop, painter Hitler. This isn't too far from reality, folks. Before his political career, Hitler aspired to be an artist. Had he not been rejected from the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts, the world might have had one more mediocre landscape painter instead of a dictator. Think Bob Ross, but with less happy little trees and more grumpy little buildings. A career as an art gallery owner might have been one of the other options available to the art-loving dictator. Hitler might have been more involved in the artistic community and promoted the work of other artists if he had owned an art gallery. If you're excited about today's topic, please click like before we continue. If you're new here or just haven't done it yet, click subscribe and turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our adventures. Next, we have writer Hitler. We know he wrote Mein Kampf, but what if he'd ventured into fiction? Sci-fi, perhaps? Imagine it. The time-traveling dictator. A riveting tale of a man traveling through time, fixing his terrible hairstyle decisions. Bestseller? Maybe not. What about a career in the performing arts? Hitler was known for his dramatic speeches. Could he have been an actor, bringing stories to life on the stage or silver screen rather than manipulating the emotions of the masses? Hitler's love for Wagner could have driven him to become a classical music conductor, leading orchestras in powerful performances. With his powerful speaking voice, Hitler could have potentially made a career on the opera stage as a singer, entertaining audiences with his vocal prowess. Or could he have been a radio host, captivating audiences with his rich baritone voice, discussing music, art, and architecture, instead of propagating hate and fear? Imagine Adolf Hitler not as a dictator but as an architect, Known for his passion for opera and grand designs, his architectural marvels could have graced our skylines. Imagine having Hitler as your personal trainer. With his discipline, Hitler could have helped people achieve their health goals, promoting well-being instead of harm. It's a fact that Adolf Hitler had a fascination with the occult and was known to consult astrologers and mystics. So could Hitler have been a good horoscope writer? Writing insightful horoscopes, he might have guided people's decisions in a positive way, offering hope and encouragement instead of despair. Let's consider fashion designer Hitler. With that unique mustache, he certainly made a bold style choice. But what if he'd gone full haute couture? Picture this. A runway show in Paris, models strutting with square mustaches and military-inspired trench coats. Talk about a fashion faux pas. Hitler was also a skilled propagandist. Could he have used these skills in advertising? creating campaigns that made us want to buy products, rather than inciting racial hatred and intolerance. Consider Hitler as an educator. With his ability to captivate audiences and his interest in various subjects, he could have inspired students to explore their passions and enhance their understanding of the world. As a history professor, he could have taught about the mistakes of the past instead of contributing to them. Perhaps he could have been a decent psychologist. His understanding of human behavior and manipulation techniques could have been used to help people overcome their fears and insecurities, rather than exploit them. My personal favorite is professional chess player. Adolf Hitler's strategic mind could have excelled at chess, resulting in intense board game battles rather than real ones. Or what about Hitler as a board game designer? Imagining new games for people to enjoy, Hitler might have brought families together for fun, not torn them apart in war. Imagine Hitler commanding the center ring as a circus ringmaster under a big top, managing performers and animals in a spectacle of entertainment, not terror. Hitler had a flair for organization and a knack for rallying people toward a cause. Could he have been a successful event planner, coordinating grand operas, art exhibitions, or literary festivals? Choosing a career as a stamp designer would have been a low-stress option. Hitler may have found peace and an opportunity to express his artistic side by designing a stamp. Or what about a typewriter repairman? Fixing typewriters, Hitler could have played a small but important role in helping others express their ideas. Another peaceful solution would be a career as a pet groomer. Adolf Hitler might have found joy in making pets look their best, giving him a positive and loving outlet for his energies. Perhaps life as a dog breeder would be a better option. Hitler's well-known fondness for his German shepherd, Blondie, could have led to a peaceful life of breeding and caring for dogs. In another universe, Hitler might have been a diplomat, using his persuasive skills to broker peace and foster international cooperation instead of instigating the most destructive war in human history. Adolf Hitler was actually nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1939. He was nominated by a member of the Swedish parliament, E.G.C. Brandt. 
Apparently, Brandt never intended the nomination to be taken seriously. It's fascinating and chilling to imagine how different our world would be if Adolf Hitler had chosen a different path. But the reality is, the choices we make shape the world around us, and it's a sobering reminder of the power of our actions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more historical facts and reflections. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next video. Thanks for watching.